to a candy shop where buns on play on the sunny beach of Peppermint Bay. Lemonade stand everywhere, Cracker Jack fans fill the air, and there you are, happy landing. She was the face of American optimism during one of the nation's darkest times, the Great Depression. But amidst the darkness, a symbol of purity, innocence, and joy emerged. But behind the iconic smile, behind the dimples and sparkling golden curl, lay a life far more complicated and tragic than anyone could have imagined. Shirley Temple's rise to fame may have seemed like a fairy tale, but the world of Hollyweird hides many dark secrets, including exploitation, abuse, and control. And Shirley was not immune to its shadow. This is the untold story of how the industry's darker side Consume the childhood of one of the world's most beloved stars. Welcome to Behind the Stardom Temple in Tinseltown. Shirley Temple's star was born when she was just three years old, thrust into the Hollywood limelight at an age when most children were still discovering the world around them. But for Shirley, there was no time for play or exploration. She wasn't just a child, she was a product. From the moment her career began, highly weird studio heads like Daryl F. Zana saw her as a gold mine. In the middle of the Great Depression, people craved joy and escapism, and Shirley Temple became their escape, whether she liked it or not. By the age of six, she was already the biggest box office draw in America. But behind the camera, Shirley's life was anything but glamorous. As soon as she could walk, she was taught how to dance. As soon as she could speak, she was taught how to deliver lines. Shirley wasn't living a normal childhood. She was being groomed to carry the weight of a struggling industry on her tiny little shoulders. Studio executives wanted perfection and they got it, even if it meant breaking the spirit of a little girl. Holly Weird in the 1930s was no place for a child. While Shirley became a symbol of innocence, she was surrounded by adults who did not view her as a child at all. Instead, she was an object, a commodity that could be molded, manipulated, and sold to the highest bidder. Stories have emerged about the shocking way Shirley was mistreated by those who should have been protecting her. Directors would deliberately scare her or cause her physical pain pain just to capture a more authentic reaction on camera. One infamous story tells of how Shirley was forced to cry real tears during emotional scenes, her director going so far as to tell her her mother had died just to break her spirit. Such treatment wasn't unique to Shirley, but what made her situation even worse was the relentless schedule she was kept on. She worked long hours, often six days a week, with little to no time for schooling or personal life. Studio executives controlled everything, even limiting her bathroom breaks to make sure she didn't miss a shot. Shirley's world revolved around making other people money, and as she became more famous, the pressure only grew. Shirley Temple's fame didn't just come with physical and emotional exhaustion, it came with danger. As she grew older, she became the target of some of the most powerful and predatory figures in Hollywood. Even as a child, Shirley was not spared from the lecherous advances of industry men. One of the most disturbing stories involves a notorious Hollyweird producer who attempted to proposition her at the age of 12. The story goes that Shirley, ever the professional, laughed it off thinking it was a joke. But for her mother, who witnessed the horrifying moment, it was no laughing matter. She shielded her daughter from the immediate danger, but it was only one instance of a much larger pattern of abuse of power. And Shirley was wasn't alone. Child stars throughout Hollyweird's history have faced similar predation. From Judy Garland to Natalie Wood, the studio system turned a blind eye to such behavior. 
as long as the profits kept rolling in. Shirley was made to feel that the price of her fame was unquestionable obedience to those in power, no matter how inappropriate or immoral their behavior might be. As Shirley began to grow up, Holly Weird turned its back on her. Audience who had adored her childlike innocence no longer wanted to see her in more adult roles. The transition was brutal. Movies featuring a teenage Shirley Temple were flops and soon the studios began to distance themselves from the star they once worshipped. Shirley was left adrift, a relic of Hollywood's past, struggling to find her place in an industry that had no use for her anymore. Her childhood, her innocence, her identity, all had been taken from her. She was forced to mature before she was ready. And when she finally did, Holly Weird abandoned her. At just 22 years old, Shirley Temple retired from acting. The studio system that had exploited her childhood left her with no guidance, no support, and no future in the industry she had once dominated. The fall from grace was swift and Shirley was left to pick up the pieces of a life she had never been in control of. Though Shirley eventually found a second career as a diplomat and political figure, the shadows of her Holly Weird past never fully left her. In interview, she spoke carefully about her experiences, but it was clear that the trauma of her childhood in the industry lingered. Shirley never publicly addressed all the rumors or the full extent of the exploitation she faced, but her eyes told a different story. Even in her later years, Shirley remained a woman whose innocence had been taken by an industry more concerned with profit than people. Her life stands as a stark reminder of the toll that Holly Weird's dark side can take on its youngest stars. Behind the glitz and glamour of the silver screen, there is a legacy of trauma, one that Shirley Temple carried with her for the rest of her life. She may have brought joy to millions, but the price of that joy was her own childhood. Shirley Temple may have survived Holly Weird's darkest day, but others weren't so fortunate. For every Shirley, there were countless others whose lives were ruined by the industry's insatiable hunger for youth and innocence. Holly Weird has long been a breeding ground for the exploitation and abuse of its youngest star. Shirley's story, though tragic, is not unique but it stands as one of the earliest and clearest warnings of the devastating toll that fame, control, and predatory behavior can take on those most vulnerable. The golden age of Hollywood may have dazzled the world with its glitz and glamour, but behind the bright lights, there was always a darkness. A darkness that swallowed whole the childhoods and innocence of those who stepped into its spotlight. Shirley Temple was one of the lucky ones, able to escape before it completely consumed her. It's a darkness that swallowed whole the childhood and innocence of those who stepped into its spotlight. Join us in this new mini-series as we peel back the layers of Tinseltown's brightest stars and expose the hidden costs of their fame. From exploitation to manipulation, we uncover the untold truths of what really happens behind the cameras. This is Holly Weird Untold. Until next time, remember, Holly Weird is a stage where reality often wears a mask because in the land of dreams, the truth can be a nightmare.